Okay, folks, now that I have your attention, don't ever do what you just saw. But uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to keep my fingers a little bit more safe and yours as well. So obviously, we're going to be making a set of clamps to go on that crosscut sled you just saw. Uh, for mine, I'm going to be using some maple I had laying around that would be in the center section. And be putting, I'm going to sandwich that maple in two strips of walnut. Uh, again, just had these laid around. And I've already uh, milled these up, so you know we don't have to watch that process. As far as those brass knobs you saw in the thumbnail, these are beautiful handmade brass knobs. I'll be telling you about those at the end of the video. And if you want, you can download a set of free plans on my website. So get on over there and check that out. For now, let's get started. Okay, folks, so I'm going to jump in here real quick and ask you all a real quick question. Uh, it got me thinking that this video is, you know, safety related since we are trying to save our fingers on the, uh, on the table saw over there. And it got me to think about another channel that I watch uh, over at Christofix. Chris, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sorry if I'm not. Uh, but anyway, on his uh, channel, he often asks, asks video, or sorry, excuse me, he asks questions on every video. And uh, one time he, he asked a question about what is the most important tool in your shop? And I got to thinking about it and I answered my question, which by the way, I'll let y'all know uh, what that is at the end of this video. Uh, but I figured I'd ask the same question to y'all. What do y'all think is the most important tool or, or safety equipment, I should say? What's, what's the most important safety equipment you have in your shop? So let me know down below. After I get this done, it's off to the bandsaw again. Okay, so now for the glue up of all the pieces. Um, for the first time, I'm going to try the trick that I'm sure a lot of y'all have probably seen, but um, for those of you who haven't, uh, this is what it is, and that's to use a little bit of salt as you're gluing. Again, first time. I figured I'd give it a try. I have really shaky hands, and putting these pieces together can be a little challenge for me, so I need all the little help I can get. So let's go. Okay, so the verdict is I think that salt greatly helps out, so y'all should definitely give that a try sometime. Still a little bit tricky with four pieces trying to get sandwiched and lined up just right, but again, it helped out. So we're going to let these dry, then come back and get everything sanded up, and then a few other finishing touches, and we'll be good to go.
Okay, folks, that's going to do it for this one as far as the build goes. So, yeah, just got done putting on a little boiled linseed oil on here. Looks real nice. So let's start off with these uh, brass knobs that I pointed out at the beginning of the, of the video here. Uh, I got these from a guy named Austin. He's over at uh, High Caliber Craftsman, so y'all need to go uh, check him out. Uh, links will be down below, uh, one for his YouTube uh, channel and his uh, website. That one, in my opinion, y'all really need to check out. Uh, his primary gig is he makes uh, handwriting pens out of spent shell casings. I'll probably throw some pictures as we're talking here, at least a couple. Uh, they look truly awesome. Uh, awesome. I haven't bought one yet, but I promise I, I do plan on it. I've seen a couple on there I really like. So, anywho, uh, you know, along with uh, making pens, he's a great machinist. So, he, he gathered up some brass for me and, again, uh, made a couple of knobs. I just I thought it would be pretty cool for these clamps. So, that uh, pretty much explains that. Um, and then on to the question that I asked uh, earlier in the video. Uh, my answer for pretty much the most important tool or safety equipment in the shop is the brain. Yeah, as cheesy as that sound, uh, that, that's my opinion. You know, if you're not using your brain and looking out for what you're doing, uh, you know, as we're all working in these shops around dangerous equipment, uh, you know, you, you can unfortunately get injured. I'm, I'm sure a lot of y'all have out there. So again, just look out for what you're doing. <laughs> so anywho, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave it off from there and I'll leave you off with some uh, closing shots of these uh, clamps in action. Appreciate it and we'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks, bye-bye.